I think the Fibers program has a really good reputation nationally and internationally. I think we're known predominantly as an interdisciplinary uh, program. We're divided into three different kinds of technical facilities. One, which you see here, is the Fiber Structures Lab, where I teach weaving, felt making, basketry, different kinds of construction techniques. Another lab is next door, which is the print and dye, and there we do all kinds of immersive dyeing as well as printing. And our third is the paper making area. I think the emphasis of the program here is that there's a whole tradition of crafts that are, have a history that hasn't necessarily been acknowledged by contemporary art practice as a form of art. The whole emphasis on those kind of craft-based traditions is not for them to just rest at that level, is to learn the techniques so that one can apply them in a very conceptual way to do three-dimensional works, to do installation work, to do uh, work that's community-based, to uh, run projects or, or initiate projects that take a craft-based tradition and use it as a critique within contemporary art practice. It's always been a carrier of social and cultural um, messages. It's always been a form, has a, a kind of really interesting history in terms of the labor movement, both in terms of kind of sweatshops, but also domestic labor. It has a really interesting history in terms of the development of technology. The digital Stuckard loom is considered one of the forerunners of the, the computer. Some of my interests actually in teaching in fibers is to take some of these traditional techniques that also have a cultural history to them and instill in the students how those traditions can be used to bring out current concerns and discourses about multiculturalism, issues of identity and race. While we love um, traditional techniques and the history of textiles, we also like to explore new avenues, so we open things up. There's been a lot of development in new media in terms of fibers and textiles and wearable computers and and, and many, many things, you know, um, interactivity, all that's really been bound up in clothes and clothes design and textiles. So that has created a certain kind of growth and interest and support, I guess, for a graduate program. So we have 10 students in residence this year, and so I think we're the largest graduate program in fibers in Canada. I think one of our strengths is that we don't say fibers is one of the oldest technologies or one of the ancient traditions. I think that it is really an interdisciplinary program that is really posited around a question of what can fibers be. And what we're really looking for is students who can add to that question, who can possibly provide some provisional answers, who can extend and challenge our own uh, answers to that question. And certainly that men are welcome too.